what's going on guys it's the conscious one coming at you uh just making this video it's not about sports betting we're just gonna talk some more real talk okay what i'm what i'm noticing what i'm noticing is that a lot of black people don't even want to see other black people doing well you see all this talk about you know what other races don't like us listen you got to look at your own first and what i'm seeing is that other black people don't even want to see other black people be successful so i give you an example i can tell let's say i'm uh I, I'm, I'm just out about in the public and let's say i tell another black person maybe it might be a couple someplace and we're just talking and i say that uh you know i'm pretty much i'm semi-retired you know i only work 30 hours a week and 15 out of those hours uh, i'm talking about my, myself right now uh, i work six days a week i work 30 hours right but probably 20 of those hours i'm not working uh i'm at whole foods i'm trying to put healthy food in my body because of my uh chronic urticaria condition um you know i might be at a casino eating at a buffet you see so i was taking these folks uh out someplace the other day and the guy makes mentions he says oh if you're making money off sports betting and you barely work you're semi-retired and i said to myself wow i am and this was a white man who told me this and i and i said you know he was in his older years and i said wow i am you know like a little kid i am i'm semi-retired wow i like the sound of that okay but getting back to the point it, you know what's going on uh, and especially you know what's happening with a lot of black women too um black people black men and women don't like to see other black people uh be successful now what in the world you know kind of willie lynch is that that you know that's nothing but willie lynch by the way just to let you guys know uh when you have another black person who don't like to see another black person successful like i give you an example you know i'm not rich by any means but i do have peace and i have security and that's all you can ask for in this life and i and i don't work my tail off uh, so that's all you can ask for in this life money money ain't nothing but a thing but just to give an example okay like somebody like myself i'm not rich at all right and so i go on youtube and i and uh floyd mayweather may pop up in a prompt and i see him and he might be talking about some some gators that he's wearing or this or, or that you know back when i first started hearing floyd talk like that on tv you know it's almost like you felt the hate come in you for him and, and i had to stop myself and say wait a minute why are you hating on him let you know okay so he's rich apparently i don't really believe he is by the way but still he, he has more and he has more than most most of us will have in 20 lifetimes okay that's just the bottom line so you know it's brainwashing i had to stop myself and say wait a minute don't be jealous of floyd be happy for your people uh when they're successful be happy for them when they don't have to work 60 hours a week uh be happy for them when they're happy you see people not even people other black folks not they don't even like to see other black people happy they would rather see other black people miserable that isn't that the craziest most uh idiotic thing you have ever heard in your life but that's the truth that is the exact truth and it's sad because a lot of times you know you have blessings to bestow upon people white or black but when you know when your own kind come around you know you want to help them out too you want to let them know what you're doing uh you know how you're doing it um how your life is more at ease now and, and who's responsible for that and all that kind of stuff but if you're going to tell people about that and they just going to feel some kind of way about it inside their heart you know that's a very bad thing and all i got to say about black folks that's like that that's hating on other black people uh your your, your day is going to come your day is going to come really really fast really soon okay and then uh, uh that person who was telling you about the stuff you're going to be looking for that person in these times but that person going to be gone because they already came and told you uh what needed to be done not not that they told you like they demanded you to do something but still it's just like okay let's say i met uh, i met floyd i can't I, I met floyd mayweather well i came around somebody in his camp 
You think I'm not going to try to align myself with a man who has millions of dollars? At least trying to maybe, I don't know, maybe work for him, may, maybe show for him around town. I don't know. You never know. Floyd might pay me I have uh, 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 $250,000 to drive him around town when he comes in Vegas. You never know what can happen. So when you see other black people that's successful, instead of getting jealous in your heart about their success, you should be trying to align yourself with what that person is doing, you see. And I just want to put that out there because, you know, a lot of people think this, this is about black and white. It, you know, maybe it was 60 years ago, but guess what? It's not now. We only can deal with problems that we have of the day, okay? And when you look at places like Chicago, um, other cities, Philly, uh, New York, all these major cities, what you got is black people hating on other black people. It's, it's a shame. It's really a shame. Right now, uh, I'm checking out Pastor Dow, D-O-W-E-L-L. Uh, if anybody who looks at this channel, you definitely want to check out a guy on YouTube called Pastor Dow. Uh, he runs a non-denomination non fellowship. He does not call himself Christian. And right now what this man is doing is basically he's recruiting people from around the country to basically come on land that he has, you know, ha had, that he has homes built on. Most of the homes he built with his own hands. And he's just trying to get black folks together and say, hey, look, you know, why don't you just come join with me? Because when shit hits the fan, who else you going to run to? So why don't you come down here to Texas or Tennessee? Actually, he's in Tennessee, but he has fellowship in Texas. Why don't you come on down here and I'll see if I can get you on some property, uh, get you with the building, you know, doing work for the for the people, you see. And that's the kind, you know, again, here's a guy that I look at and I say, okay, I like this. And I don't even go to church, you see. But he's a pastor. He's a non-denomination pastor. And that's, that's the kind of pastors that I like to align myself with, you know, because these titles, Christian, Muslim, it, it, all it is, it puts you in a Saturn matrix. You're trapped in the cube, you understand? So I recognize people when they're not trapped in the queue. Long story, like Xbox, but that's a long story. I'm not going to get, on, get into that today because that's, that's getting too esoteric. That's not what this video is about. But basically, people stuck in a box. You know, I don't like these titles because once you give somebody a title, oh, well, he's this, oh, well, he's Christian, or he's Muslim, or, and then all of a sudden, all the brainwashing programming that they may have received about that denomination comes in their head, and, and it might be just 100% uh, excuse me, false about what, they, what they're thinking. So, you know, you, you got to be careful out here in the way we think. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I just basically said what I wanted to say uh, about that, you know, about black people not even liking the success of other black people. It's, it's, it is a damn shame. I have never seen nothing like this in my life. But you know what? Uh, the Bible did say that this type of stuff would happen in the end time. So I shouldn't be surprised, okay? But it is shocking, you know? You would think that other black people... When they see you successful, will want to know how, how are you doing it. But instead, they'd rather have hate for you in their heart and jealousy. That's really bad. That's all I got to say, guys. And don't forget to check out that Pastor Dow. And y'all take care out there. Good luck and peace. Oh, wait a minute. I'm back. Another thing, too, I want to say uh, about women is that women in America, <laughs> I'm going to say this one more thing. I really hope that they're aligning themselves with the true men of the Lord, of the Holy Spirit, I should say, because when you say Lord, that's a trigger word too. And then people got all kind of names and versions of the Lord, and their Lord is not your Lord. Let's just say Holy Spirit. Women of the day, um, no matter what race, they want to align themselves with strong men. Okay, because if civil war did break out in the United States, I don't. All these women who want to be independent. I mean, sure, that's what this country is built off. It's built off independence. Some of us, most of us like living by ourselves. Women, I know women that live by themselves. You know, um, I live by myself. You know what I'm saying? But we're coming into the times that it's not really safe and smart to be living alone. You want to align, align yourself with people uh, that have the Holy Spirit and that know what time it is, okay? That especially that know what time it is. Because you see what's happening. The same thing that's happening in America has happened and is happening in Germany uh, with the whole Merkel thing. Whether she, I don't think she's totally responsible for it, but you know, she's just a puppet like anybody else. But you know, you have all the Im immigrants coming into the country and nobody's protecting the women. 
So, you know, the women are getting raped, they're getting robbed, they're getting killed. And they're like, well, where are the German, German men? Well, most, <laughs> it's the same thing, guys. Where are the German men? Most of the German men, the real German men, left the country five to ten years ago. Just like most of the real men in the United States uh, have left America uh, the last five to ten years ago. So when these invading armies come in, and these immigrants come in, and they don't have no, you don't have no identity these people, and they don't care about hurting you or, or raping you or robbing you. And then you look around and say, well, where are all the men? Where do you, where do you think all the men went? Uh, while you, the women, were, were busy being misindependent, we were getting our shit together because we knew what was coming around the corner. And we tried to tell women, we tried to wake them up, we tried to tell them, look, you cannot be dependent on, on, uh, um, on your degree or your nine to five job. You have to put yourself in a state of mind uh, that anything can happen any day now, okay? Isn't that the truth? Just watch the news. You know that. But it's, yeah, it's very, it's really important for women to align themselves with strong men, or else they're going to be just like these women in Germany, waking up one day with, with invading, raping, robbing immigrants all around you, just like what's happening now in the United States. And you're just going to be looking up and saying, "Where are all the men? Y'all better wake up now." I'm out of here. Take care, y'all. This is the conscious one. Good luck and peace.